Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 18. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to be taking part in the Amateur Cup races. Again, we're taking part in the Big Block Shootout. This is actually... I think every championship after this is going to have four races. So we're going to be going uh, and making sure there's only one championship per episode from now on, I believe. Uh, starting off with Laguna Seca, moving on to Road Atlanta, Sebring, and then finishing off with New York Circuit. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. We are here at Laguna Seca. We're taking the blue Mustang. This thing has been upgraded, so this has got some upgrades, but actually it's only power upgrades. In terms of handling, this car actually handles exactly the same as the original car. It's just got more power. But obviously we needed the extra power because, uh, well, I wasn't going to take an overpowered car. Because my o uh, this one is um, a championship for V8s only. So the other V8s I had were S-Class. This is, like, just in A-Class. Like, at the very bottom of A-Class. Pretty much B-Class. Never heard this song before. What the hell is this? It's got a beat, though. Ooh! Not ideal. <laughs> I mean, on a Mustang, you could put better tires, but then that's not the proper, proper way that Mustang drivers do. Yeah, no, I haven't heard this song. This is weird. Don't like it. I'm going to skip this one. I really don't like it. It's strange. Yep, this is another weird one, I think. Oh, and then we got Animals by Martin Garrix. Because that totally follows the style of the rest of the songs that we've been listening to today. I remember when this song came out. This was a vibe. Bum, 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 bum. The vibe for life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's definitely a wide range of songs that I actually listen to. And I didn't realize how many different songs I actually listen to until, like, I started putting music in my streams. And I realized, hmm, I got a wide variety of shit I listen to. I could quite easily change your mind because drum and bass has always been, in my mind, more energetic uh, from like 2012 onwards. So yeah, I, th I think there are more energetic genres. But granted, 2012 EDM was pretty good. It was a very close second. Drum and bass just hits it for me though. <laughs> pendulum was 2010 the pendulum era of drum and bass was here's the thing pendulum was its own thing it was like drum and bass and rock it was a mix of the two so it wasn't true drum and bass the true drum and bass like actual drum oh, although I see pendulum as like the head of the drum and bass genre they weren't the top 
of like actual drum and bass because they weren't actual drum and bass. They had other influences and other parts towards it. Um, yeah, pe Pendulum still fucking slapped. And they killed it. But like, all the drum and bass. <laughs> the thing is, Pendulum was in an era where um, the other drum and bass songs <laughs> that they were pretty much going up against were all pretty shit. There weren't many good drum and bass songs from 2010, 2005, 2000, that era. So they didn't have much to compete with. But I'll, I'll give it to them. When they released their new album, um, that Elemental one, wasn't too bad. Also, what's up, Pandy? Welcome. Yes, we're around Laguna Seca in a Ford Mustang. <laughs> Let's enjoy the satisfying drills and hammers. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, it was totally the satisfying drills and hammers of this song, wasn't it? Totally. Push me, and then just touch me. <laughs> yes, and a lot of women as well. <laughs> lots of women. And it was lots of boobin. It was lots of boobin titten. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> uh... That's what I call dumb shit. Push, 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 push me. And then just touch me till I can get my satisfaction. No! Oh, I've ruined that one. Two more laps to go. Friday and Brain already turned off. Yes. Brain no worky. Get my satisfaction. 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 You know, since I've started this race, right, in seven minutes, I've used up five gigabytes of storage. I am not joking. I have a live update. Oh, there you go. There's another gigabyte. So that's eight, uh, six gigabytes in seven minutes. Imagine that. For a minute of footage, it takes about a gigabyte. Crazy. Then just touch me till I can get my satisfaction. Oh. What program do you use for recording? I just use my OBS. My OBS will allow me to record up to, um, yeah. I'm basically recording at 50,000 kilobits a second, um, which is like ridiculous. I think YouTube videos only ever render at 10,000 or like whenever you upload a video, I think it's only 10,000 kilobits a second. So it's like five times the quality of a YouTube video, but it's, it's still not perfect quality. I think for perfect quality, it's got to be like gigabit a second, something ridiculous like that to be able to get like pristine video feed, but it looks pretty good for a video recording. Camtasia. 
Jesus Christ, I've not heard that one before. <laughs> Weird one. Bandy cam. <laughs> I'm gonna record some YouTube videos with bandy cam. I don't know why, but French dance music from the 90s is actually really good. Free licensed version of Bandicam. Let's go. <laughs> Bandicam with watermarks. Woohoo. <laughs> I will take my rewards, thank you. Oh, level 25. We got a Porsche 959. Ugh, fuck. Let's have a look. See what it looks like. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. It's this Porsche. I'm, I'm actually an okay fan of this. All right, here we go. Race number two of four. <laughs> My yahoo, my yaha, my yaha. <laughs> oh, I love this song. I'm doing good, Epic. We're just vibing to some tunes today. Oh, that's not good. Ha ha. We've got eight laps around here. That is as epic as my name. <laughs> I love the fact that this uh, chicane has been remodeled for this game. So it's a little less harsh. Yo, Zed Crane, what's up? Welcome. Uh, so what you have to do, you have to do exclamation mark tip, uh, and then it should tell you all the information there. Um, it'll allow you to upload a YouTube link to it. And then you could do media share that way. Do, do, do. Unfortunately, they're not free here. Because of the fact that people uh, like to abuse it. So. Do, do, do. Like the best guy, no man, no my <laughs> What a tune. Power is meant to be abused. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a fair shout. The only reason why I don't have the free one is why... Well, not the only reason. There's multiple reasons. But another reason why... One of the reasons is because of the abuse. People just take the piss with media shares um but also because the fact that for you to do free media shares and like moderate how often people do it you have to use stream elements bot um and stream elements bot if you don't know is an absolute bitch to deal with and i don't want to have to deal with that so it means you know pain in the ass there no my no my me no my no my a no my no my no my a
my ya he, my ya who, my ya ha, my ya ha ha. What a tune. What is media share? So basically, what it is is people will um, donate to the channel um, a certain amount based on how long their video is, and the video just straight up gets played on stream in front of everyone. So you can send like a 15 second meme and it'll cost you like, I think like two pound to share it. Something like that. Nothing crazy. And you can share whatever videos you want as long as they're positively rated. So that means their um, like to dislike ratio needs to be above like 90% or something like that. So... Yeah, I, d I don't really like stream elements stuff, like the bots and that. Everything else is fine with stream elements. I prefer stream elements over stream labs, but just the bot is. So I've got my own custom one through uh, Mix It Up, which is a really useful software. It allows me to do custom like that. Simp boss is all custom programmed into the software, so that's not actually a normal feature. That's all custom programmed, which is pretty cool. <laughs> you can't, but YouTube, um, it's still hidden within the API, which is why browser extensions work, because you can still load the video, and that information still gets shared out. It's just not public on normal, uh, normal YouTube. So stream elements will get that information through the API and be like, hmm, this has a lot more dislikes than likes. We'll not show it on the media share. I think as well on Sunday, I've got a plan for Sunday stream where we're going to play some WRC 10. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure yet, though, so don't hold me down on that. Place no, 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 no. I can't believe I've done that. I shifted into reverse. I think we've gone back to like 2005 to 2015 radioed. <laughs> There's actually, a, the reason why a lot of these YouTube extensions work is because YouTube has public APIs. You can use these APIs to find out information about videos and stuff like that. Like video tags, for example. Tags aren't publicly available on the YouTube website for viewing. It's just like a back-end thing. But you can see, I think there's a, um extension called vidIQ. I'm not 100% sure what it is, like, what it's like now. Because I haven't used it in a while. But uh, you can use VinIQ to see like loads of details. It's a useful tool for helping you grow your YouTube channel. They've got like a YouTube channel of their own and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But um... Yeah, that used to give you a crap ton of information. To be honest, YouTube gets rid of a lot of shit that they don't need to get rid of, and when people ask them to add something, they don't bother. YouTube is kind of a lazy platform. But then again, so is Twitch.
Not bad. Posting time to scoreboard. There we go. Good race. 12,200. We got some exhaust upgrade discounts. All right, here we go. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Not a bad start. Anime is the root of all evil. Agreed. I, I, I can't get into anime. I think it's... I, I can't put a finger on why I can't get into it, but I just never can be interested in it. But um, I remember reading a manga a while ago. So that's like anime, but books, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, and I read Death Note. I read the entire series, 1 through to 12, and I... I think it was 12. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But I read the entire of Death Note. And I bloody enjoyed it. I watched the um, Death Note series. Still enjoyed it. But nothing else can do it for me. It's, it's just so much so I might actually re-watch the Death Note series. Not gone. <laughs> it's the fan base. Yeah, sometimes it, the anime fan base goes over the top. I will agree. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. It's been a long time waiting. Too many friends have gone. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Just hold on. MHA, My Hero Academia. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a thing to get into. Like, don't get me wrong, right? I love Japanese stuff. Like, I love the Yakuza series. You know, the video game. Oh, I missed my breaking point. I was too busy chatting. I think I saved it. Somewhat. I still don't know what that car is in front, though. Um, but yeah, I quite enjoy the Yakuza series. It's a really cool video game. Pretty funny. Obviously not like, ha 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 comedy kind of funny. It's just like dumb shit comedy. It's like dumb shit. Ha ha ha. Funny. Anyways. I quite enjoy the Yakuza series. I've obviously done some videos on YouTube. And the problem I found with the Yakuza series was it's not a very YouTubable series. Because you have to read out everything. And although I'm alright at reading stuff and reading stuff out loud. My brain doesn't like it. My brain will just say, oh, I'm bored of this. I'm not going to read it, and I'm just going to read it inside my head. And at that point, that doesn't make for a very entertaining YouTube video, does it? So, kind of gave up with the Yakuza, doing Yakuza on YouTube because of that. It's been a long time waiting. Too many friends have gone. Ah. Uh. My monitor is trying to turn itself off. The good thing about having, like, an actual proper monitor now is it doesn't come up with, like, oh, I've got to power off in five minutes messages. Like, all TVs have that. 
but monitors don't do that, which is good when it comes to actually recording content. Because it means it don't get in the way no more. Or I don't think it does, but it's all it does sometimes. Because I still see it in the corner of my eye and I gotta turn it off. Oh, shit. Trying an anime for... Uh, for 11 years at this point, but I still keep my sanity in check. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't... Again, if... Oh, my car went through my uh, rear bumper there. If you're a fan of anime, like, there's nothing wrong with enjoying anime. Just... I think it's like a weird, unhealthy obsession that a lot of anime people have. Because they'll make everything related to anime with them. Like, you look at car fans, right? We'll maybe have a car profile picture, but, like, our whole identity will pretty much just be, you know, us. Like, whereas anime fans literally, like, convert themselves into a Japanese person, pretty much. Like, no lie. I know, like, four or five different anime fans who their online profiles are, like, some Japanese text, which, again, first of all, is a big, like, what the fuck? No normal person can type that on an English keyboard, so... Why? We've got anime profile pictures. Like, it's like me going, sitting down and watching a Netflix com comedy or something, and then just setting my profile picture to Kevin Hart one week. And then the next week, oh, I'm going to watch Jimmy Carr's comedy and just set my profile pictures to Jimmy Carr. In fact, I'm going to do that after this race just for the joke and see if anyone notices slash understands. <laughs> just do that for me. Hmm. I don't even think anime is mainstream. Like, because mainstream media won't show anime. But it's very much popularized on social media. It, it's mainstream on social media. Let's, let's go with that. It's not mainstream, just like mainstream media, like television and stuff like that. I've been waiting. I love this song. Oh no, I've messed up my breaking point. No! Come on, I gotta try and do this. <laughs> I'm not doing the race again. No! Come on! No! <laughs> I've <been up> for <laughs> okay, we got first place. Esperante GTLM. I have no clue what the hell that is, but okay. <laughs> I got three grand because of that crap. Alright, here we go. New York Circuit. Yeah, I need to get the um R31 Skyline for uh, Horizon do, 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 Horizon 5 for uh, tomorrow's cruise. Because obviously for the Skyline section, we're going to be taking Skylines. So I need an R31 Skyline. I know Pandy's taking an R33. Um, I, I assume someone else is taking something else, but 
Generally don't have a clue about cars. Fair enough. Epic. Might be worthwhile playing some Forza games or something. You get to know a little bit about the cars. It's quite fun as well. Especially like Forza Horizon. They're pretty good. Technically speaking, though, I'm pretty sure if a car is over 50 years old, it doesn't have to follow half of the EU regu regulations. Not 100% sure, though. But I think certain older cars... ...can get away with it. I'm not 100% sure on that, though, so don't hold me down. No, yeah, that's fair enough. Driver San Francisco might be a good game for you, though. Because uh, I know I've seen quite a few people that aren't a fan of racing games, but absolutely love Driver San Francisco. Ah, uh, Epic, have you got a PC? Because it might be worthwhile you having a look at um, some VR racing games. Because honestly, ob obviously get them cheap on, like, key selling sites but have a look at that because that is a VR experience unlike any other VR experience something like Project Cars 2 or um, a set of Corsa something like that or even the new F1 game that's coming out with VR so I'm a pirate. oh you could just do that yeah that's a good shout <laughs> For legal reasons, I don't condone that. <laughs> but yeah, try out something like Project Cars in VR. Because uh, that game has a VR mode. Because you can do it just you on the track. Don't even have to race against people, but... Yeah. I mean, if you're ever looking for cheap games, um, have a look in my About page, just below. Um, because I've actually got a link to Enabler. And legally, I have to disclaim I <laughs> do earn a percentage from it. <laughs> Bugger. We got smoke coming out of the car. Um, but yeah. They, they sell like so many games. And typically majority of the games are actually cheaper than when they're on sale on Steam. Like stuff like, I don't know, a set of Corsa goes down to like £2.50. Something ridiculous like that. <laughs> you are a pirate. You're a fiddly D. Instant game in a humble bundle. That's fair enough. But those ones are slightly more expensive. Especially humble bundle. Humble bundle's like... Although it's cheaper, it's still quite quite a bit more expensive. <laughs> Lazy town. <laughs> Fucking hell. Man, it's, it's really weird how much shit that I know that you also know, Hans. <laughs> Pay for a few games whose developers I respect. That's fair enough. Um, I know there was a video about Linus Tech Tips um, talking about piracy. One of the things that he made out is um, if you ever do pirate games, think about um, the repercussions and the consequences of you pirate in that game. Um, and one of the things he mentions is like, if you really enjoy a game, you should buy it to help the developer. If it's a game, like, if it's a game from EA, like, I I don't do piracy at all, unless it's for, like, extremely old games that you physically cannot get anymore, at which point it's classed as abandonware anyways. Yeah, some games have anti-piracy systems. Like, by all means, I like buying my old... Um, P3 
PS2 games and stuff like that. But sometimes it's just really, really is difficult to get a hold of like a copy of, I don't know, Gran Turismo PSP, for example, or whatever. Um, anything where when you do it, the developer really isn't earning any money anyways. Yeah, knock yourself out. I don't think it's that bad. Like, for example, a, either a studio that's shut down completely or uh, the game. Like, I always say if there's no legal way to obtain the game. Like, you can't buy it through Steam, buy it through wherever. And just rip a copy, copy of it off of a disc that someone else has, for example. Like, there's no problem with that at that point, in my eyes. I also think there's another argument that I wouldn't blame someone for is if they've bought a game on like own a game not just rented it through Game Pass if you've bought a game on say Xbox and you bought it through the store there and you wanted it then on PC for example I think that's sort of justifiable as well because you've already bought the game before obviously if there is a legal way of doing it and if you really love the game enough you and you want to support the developer by all means buy it a second time that's what i do with a lot of stuff that i really enjoy um but that's an another justification that i think is 50 50 i don't think it's good if you do it for everything but sometimes like, if it's a smaller developer, then yeah, I don't think it's good to do that. Even if you've bought the game already, maybe buy it again, give them the support. But if it's like a big developer like EA, well, fuck them. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Perfect timing. We're finished for the day. Woohoo! Right, I'm going to take my rewards. Take my cake and eat it too. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me my rewards. I got a Lingenfelter Corvette and 20 grand. Now, this is the black, really weird looking Corvette. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm sorry, but it looks disgusting. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.